Every day is a struggle for Layla. Her husband left Afghanistan for Iran five months ago to look for a job and she hasn't heard from him since. She's living in a makeshift camp in Kandahar City with her two sons and her brother-in-law's family. Ramadan is coming and we have nothing to eat during this month. It is hard to fast, eating only bread. My kids are sick and I don't have enough money to buy them medicine. I collect garbage and bottles from the street from morning until evening and I barely make the equivalent of 35 cents, which is not enough to buy flour, oil or rice for dinner. The number of people in Afghanistan who can't afford food and other essentials has doubled since the Taliban took over last year. The UN's humanitarian agency says $4.4 billion is needed in Afghanistan as it faces an economic crash and humanitarian crisis. The money is needed to boost the delivery of food and agricultural support and to fund health services, water and sanitation and education. Afghans need our help, enabling their economy, sustaining their agriculture and enabling the basic functioning of social services to prevent further economic collapse and preserve those basic services. The international community has long said human rights must be upheld for the Taliban-led government to receive aid. Those supporting the UN appeal say the Taliban's decision to close most secondary schools for girls last week has made it more difficult to raise funds from Western governments. The Taliban, the de facto authorities, have to live up to their responsibility to protect their people and to help humanitarian organizations uh, do the work on the ground that they need to do. For decades, Afghanistan was heavily reliant on financial aid that was frozen when the Taliban took power. Now the UN is urging the world not to forget the country as it faces a crisis. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.